Hello and welcome to week one of the Southern Torch Game of the Week Coaches Show. I'm here with Coach Paul Benefield of the Five Red Devils, and we're looking for his 12th 10 win season. Coach Benefield, we appreciate the time. Thank you. And uh, do you feel like your guys are prepared for this year? Well, we've worked hard. Uh, as usual, we've had a good summer, and uh, it's been a cool, cool summer, and that's turned hot the week of the game. So uh, we don't know what kind of condition we're going to be in, but it's the same temperature for both teams. So. Right, so practice has been going pretty good. Can't do anything about the weather. Practice has went pretty well. How confident are you in starting a ninth grader at quarterback this year? Will Master. Well, I, I don't even think of him as a ninth grader. He's a uh, whole back sophomore as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, I mean, he is a freshman, but he's 16 years old. So we just uh, expect him to do what it takes for us to win. Do you think he's prepared and think he's ready? I do. I think he probably uh, would like to have a few more games to get under his belt to get the jitters out, but we don't have that luxury, so here we go. Right. You know, Geraldine's lost a lot since last year. Tell us a little bit about what you know about Geraldine. I know their offensive line is, is uh, very big and physical, and the backs are, are strong, and uh, they're just very well coached. And, you know, that's we expect a tough game. First game of the year, you never know turnovers and kicking game can really tell the story. All right, and um, the depth chart I came back and got from you one day last week, I noticed Trent Thrash wasn't starting linebacker. Is he hurt or you know, some oh, things no. going on there? You just... No, we're just trying to uh, keep some people fresh and uh, Tyler Ashley's done a real good job there and we thought we'd give him a chance to start and keep Trent fresh and uh, keep as many kids as we can fresh. And it's gonna be, it turned out it's Probably was a good idea because we didn't think it was going to be hot, but it is. It is going to be very hot and humid tomorrow night. So, so do you have anybody going both ways this year? Yeah, we've got a couple, but uh, we're going to keep try to keep them rested, and we'll see how that goes. We don't, uh, you know, right. I don't have much experience at people not going both ways, but we're, we may try it. So, is this going to be your first year where you've really got to start <laughs> resting players, and you've had that, you know, had kinda, enough talent to where yeah, you can do kinda. this? And like I said, I don't know how long that lasts. Might not be for three plays, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start it like that and see. We got some kids we think can can play competitive ball, and uh, and the more you play, fresher you are in the second half in these first few games. So we'll see how it goes. You gonna um, you gonna allow Will to do any kind of audible in, or you know everything gonna come straight in from the sideline? Uh, we we don't we don't audible very much. Don't let him do no kind of. It's gonna all come from you. Mostly. All righty. Um, I know that you've you know you've had those ten win seasons. You know, you've been very successful as a coach. This is your 17th year here at Fife. Mm -hmm. you, um, you've made it to a state championship game, but you've never won one. You mm -hmm. know, do you think this is the team? Do you think you have a, enough talent on this team? Well, you never know. You know, know I'm not going to say it. we won't. Uh, you can't, we, we're trying to, trying to win the region first. And of course, we talk about that's what we want to do. And that's how many games we want to win, 15 games. Um, but. You know, we've got a lot of improvement to go to uh, to be worrying about that, but we want to win every game we play every week, so uh, that's how you got to look one one day at a time, and uh, we got some young kids playing, and if it uh, if things worked out right, you know, we've got a lot of speed in the backfield, so it uh, depends on who improves, you know, it's possible. For the summer this year, who do you have as, as your offensive MVP going into the year? Just, just from the summer, you know, the beginning of the season. Yeah. Well, Trent has worked real hard, like, like he always has, and uh, Will Brown has been has been really making plays. You know, it split in, and uh, we just feel like we got some playmakers, and, and we're going to try to get them all the ball. Right. Who should we keep our eye on on the offensive side of the ball? Maybe, maybe that you know that. Well, Trent, um, Levi Bates, Austin Stiefel, all. All our fast kids, and, uh, and of course Will Brown. We throw it. Cade Carroll tied in, and um, we've got a young offensive line. So we hoped that they're going to improve as the season goes on. All right, tell us about the defense. Well, Dakota Newsom's our middle linebacker. He uh, led the team last year in tackles, and, and then uh, we've just got some speed on defense. You know, whether they will be hitters and be tough enough to stop. A big team like Geraldine, you know, I guess right. we'll have to find that out Friday night. Well, rumor has it that Fife is the team to beat in this region. How do you feel about that? 
Well, I don't you think Fife's the team to beat in this region? I don't. I don't know about that. Um, that's what our goals are: is to compete for a region championship every year. I, I think every team in our region is capable of winning. Um, all's improved. Sand Rock's got everyone coming back. North Sand's been good for the last couple of years. Um, Eider's always tough. It's just a tough region from top to bottom. I don't, I don't really see no favorites. But if they want to make us a favorite, they can. Do you feel like you're the best team in the region? Us? I don't know about that. I'm not, I don't talk like that. I don't. <laughs> if we uh, take care of the ball, stay away from injuries, and you know everything, everybody improves and practices hard, and they they uh, do what they're supposed to do. I'd say we, you know, would be in the in the top four, maybe. Got everybody healthy for Friday night? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody be healthy. Well, all righty, that's all the questions we have. We, we thank you for yes, your time. Thanks for, thanks for the interview. Tonight's Coach's Show has been brought to you by Geraldine Hardware, Geraldine Auto Parts, locally owned, locally operated. And you can check us out at southerntorch.com. Hello and welcome to week one of the Southern Torch Game of the Week Coach's Show. I'm here with Coach Tim Arnold and he's starting his seventh year here at Geraldine. Coach, we appreciate the time. No problem, no problem. So how's practice been going? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, after the Jamba last week, we had a whole lot to fix, but I hope we got it fixed for this week. So it's, we've had a pretty good week this week. Summer count go pretty good? Or? Summer went good, went real good. I know you got a lot of guys missing this year, a lot of guys to replace. Tell us. You know, a little bit about that. We got about three returning starters on one side of the ball and four on the other side. So we got a lot of new faces. But they've been working hard. So uh, I you've think been able to fill those holes pretty good. Or? We will know Friday night. So how confident are you this year going into week one against Fife? Well, it's hard to say about confidence until they've done it on Friday night. When you got new faces, it don't matter what you do on practice. It's what you do in the game. And until they've done it on Friday night, we'll have to see. You know, I can't really say nothing until they've been out on the field on Friday night. Right. Then we'll know. Tell us who um, who's going to be your offensive starter this year, your your main MVP. Who would you say going into the season would be the MVP? Well, Tothero has been a three-year starter at fullback. Uh, Marcus Davis has been a two-year starter at wingback. He's uh, Michael Davis' little brother. And uh, Bowling has – rotated in last year like a starter so those three positions are pretty pretty sound and Maddox is back for his first full year at quarterback so but now we're replacing all the offensive linemen but one so you've got your quarterback coming back from last year or is this yeah. going to be his first year starting this he came back from last year you're pretty confident in him this year is he he shows a lot more confidence. he's a 10th grader last year so you had some 10th grade things but he seems a lot right. more confident in what he's doing all right tell us a little bit about the defense who's going to be your Star on defense this year. Well, the two leading tacklers were Tothero and uh, Lou Jack Cruz, and they're both back. One of them, Lou Jack's defensive end, Tothero is a middle linebacker. Uh, Marcus is a starter last year, but he's having to go from linebacker to safety, so he's at a new position. So we really don't count him as a starter there because he's he's in a new place. So it sounds like Tothero is pretty much going to be. You're going to be well, he's done relying it. on him for a lot this well, year. Well, he's done it for the last three years. So, I mean, we've been relying on him, <laughs> so we'll just keep right. relying on him. So how do you how do you feel about opening up with Fife? You know this non-region game, and you get you draw somebody like Fife to have to come down here to your house. And well, Fife, well, you just gonna let you know where you stand. I mean, if you got somebody that can't play, you ain't gonna be able to hide them. Right. So if we got to move somebody for the rest of the week, then we move them for from the, for the rest of the year, not the rest of the week. But we can move them whoever needs to be moved and what have you. Because like I said, we got a lot of new faces, and they may or may not be in the right place. Right. So tell us a little bit about the region you guys are going to be playing in this year. The region has a lot of unknowns. Uh, we, you know Plainview is going to be good. They always are. And they didn't lose it but uh, one or two players. And uh, you go from there, everybody's got new coaches. Uh, you've got uh, New Hope. You've got Coach Taylor. He's still back. But Brindley Mountain's got a new coach. Holly Pond's got a new coach. Pisgah's got a new coach. So uh, you don't really know exactly what they're going to be running and what they're going to be doing. And uh, Sylvania's got a new coach, and uh, so there's a lot of unknowns there. And you said you guys played Sardis in the Jamboree, right? Yeah. And you have them week five. Yeah. How is that kind of odd playing? We know, did it last five, year. Folks? We did it last year. They're non-region. 
they're a good team. They're always well coached and uh, fundamentally sound. And you know, we got a, found out a few things last week we weren't for sure about because you know they were pretty good, pretty solid team. So do you think that's going to help you in the long run against Sardis on that non-region game? I don't know if it helps because the Jamboree is a scrimmage. I mean, they didn't show anything. We didn't show anything. You know, it's just see if you can get out there and do something simple. And, uh, right. So, I mean, they didn't show what they're going to do in week five against us, and we didn't show what we're going to do in week five. We just went out there right. and scrimmaged. <laughs> so. Well, I know week 10 is the big one. I know we're a long ways from that, but tell us a little bit since you've been here at Geraldine what you've – I know you graduated from Geraldine, correct? Yes. So tell us a little bit about now that you're coaching down here and you're the head coach, give us a little bit of insight on that rivalry game. Well, um, it's got to the point where uh, Fife is becoming a rival too. I mean, Fife, I say a rival. They've been beating us. I don't know how much of a rival it is, but there are more of us, more folks down here have point to the five game than they do Crossville. But Crossville still, everybody in Crossville is kidding everybody in Geraldine. Okay? Right. So it's less than five miles apart. So it, that part of it's always real big and what have you. But they went through so many different coaches and what have you that uh, it's not as, been as big as the five and Plainview games have been in the last several years. All righty. Well, that's all we have for you. We appreciate the time. No problem. And good luck to you Friday night. We'll need it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us tonight for the week one. Southern Torch Coaches Show. Tonight's show has been brought to you by Geraldine Hardware, Geraldine Auto Parts, locally owned, locally operated. Check out our website at www.southerntorch.com.